In today's video, we're going to be talking about Prediction Strike, which is the stock market for the NFL. We've been talking about this every week throughout the whole 2021 season. The stock market. You just buy shares of players, and if they end up meeting their projections, their stock price goes up. But if they don't meet their projections, their stock price does go down. But I'm here to help. I'm here to give you the wisest uh, decisions and the wisest insights that you can use to invest in those players that can help you make some money. So for Super Bowl 56 this weekend, you can invest in Matthew Stafford, Joe Burrow, Joe Mixon. And if those players end up doing well, you make some money. But if they don't, you lose some money. Now in today's video, we could be talking about those Super Bowl 56 players. And we could help you make some quick cash, quick turnarounds this weekend. But instead, the stock market, it's a long-term investment. It's a long-term game. Since this is the final week of our contract with Prediction Strike for the 2021 season, I want to go ahead and just talk about six players that you want to think about for the long term throughout the offseason going into 2022. So we're going to give you three players to invest in and three players that you just want to go ahead and get rid of and sell their share. So first, the first player that you need to look into for 2022 and the offseason, starting off with the three players that you need to buy, it's going to be Jerry Judy. I know that I talked about him a couple of weeks ago when we talked about Prediction Strike, uh, and this may seem kind of lazy talking about him again, but I'm talking about him again because I am committed to Jerry Judy being a watch at the very least for you guys that play Prediction Strike. He's going for $1.57 a share. Look at the analysis. He's a watch more than a buy because Nathaniel Hackett, the offensive coordinator of the Green Bay Packers, is now the next head coach of the Denver Broncos meaning that maybe Aaron Rodgers could come to the Denver Broncos eventually. And if Aaron Rodgers doesn't come, they're going to get a new quarterback in there with Nathaniel Hackett, an offensive mind with great experience and a great offense in Green Bay. Jerry Judy is going to have a much better season. I mean, you cannot do worse than the zero touchdowns that he had in 2021. So Jerry Judy is player number one that you want to invest in or at least watch, put on your watch list uh, for the time being. The next player, another Denver Bronco, and I've been talking about him for probably the last four weeks. It is Javante freaking Williams. As an Atlanta Falcons fan, I am upset that we traded down with the Denver Broncos and we did not draft him because when you watch him play, he is incredible. And I, I will not be surprised if he becomes a top five fantasy football running back in 2022. Same kind of deal. Nathaniel Hackett, next head coach with Aaron Rodgers there. Uh, in Green Bay, they like to utilize their running backs in Aaron Jones and A.J. Dillon, Javante Williams. Melvin Gordon is going to be an impending free agent. It's going to be De Javante Williams and his time to shine in this offense. So that is the next player that you want to invest in via prediction strike. And the last player that you want to invest in. For you guys that are Time to Football fans, faithful fans, have been following Time to Football since 2018, since this guy's been drafted. Ever since his rookie year, I've been saying this guy is going to be the next 1,000-yard receiver in the NFL as far as the tight end position goes, and that is Mike Gesicki. This guy is extremely talented, extremely athletic, and finally, he's getting to the point where he's not so much underrated anymore. Like People are catching on that maybe Mike Gesicki could evolve into being a top three, top five tight end eventually in his NFL career. He's going for $0.44 cents a share, which is not that expensive at all. And looking at the analysis, he's a watch more than a buy. He's an impending free agent. And people are talking about that he could sign a contract that's going around $11 million to $13 million a year this season. He could be a 1,000-yard receiving tight end in the right offense. And if he resigns with Miami, Mike McDaniel, who's the next head coach of the Dolphins, came from San Francisco, may utilize Gesicki like George Kittle was utilized in the San Francisco offense. Both, I mean, Gesicki and Kittle, athletic as heck. So do not be surprised if Mike Kosicki re-signs with the Dolphins and has a great season. Those are three players to watch for the offseason. Now, three players that you just want to go ahead and just sell right now, just get rid of while the price is just high. Player number one is going to be Leonard Fournette, going for $11.24 a share, a price that exceeded or increased heavily throughout the season because he was a PPR machine with Tom Brady dumping the ball off to him a lot. But look at the analysis. Impending free agent will not replicate the 2021 season. And oh, that's a typo right there. It's going to be, it's meant to be saying uh, 2022, not 2021. But 
he won't be replicating that 2021 season, no matter the team that he resigns with or that he signs with in free agency. Uh, he's going to be 29 years old. I, I think that the best days as far as how he performed in 2021 compared to 2022, I think that's behind him just because the offense was just one of a kind with Tom Brady, the, the greatest of all time. I, I highly doubt that Leonard Fournette will have that same, same kind of success in 2022. The next player, I know, lazy takes. I kind of talked about him a couple of weeks ago, but really, I, I just want to go ahead and just say that Aaron Jones is an absolute must sell at this point. The future with Aaron Rodgers and Green Bay, it's cloudy. We don't know which team is going to go to, but with Aaron Jones, his value will take a hit if Aaron Rodgers is not there. We saw uh, if Jordan Love is in the offense for the Green Bay Packers in the one game that he started this year, the Green Bay Packers offense, it's going to be in trouble. So Aaron Jones is someone that I'll just go ahead and get rid of. A.J. Dillon is looking great as well. Sell him while his value is extremely high. And the last player that you want to get rid of, it's, I mean, the theme is Denver Broncos, but a little bit of pessimism as far as selling a Denver Bronco. We're going to have to talk about Melvin Gordon here. Uh, Javante Williams, who talked about him being a top five fantasy football running back in the future. Melvin Gordon is going to be an impending free agent in the future for this offseason. He'll likely continue to be involved in a timeshare for the remainder of his career. I'll, I'll be honest with you. I mean, there's some teams out there that might be desperate for a running back, maybe like the Atlanta Falcons, maybe the uh, Miami Dolphins that could utilize Melvin Gordon in a three-down back kind of role. But I, I, I highly doubt that. Like, he's 29 years old. I think the best days are behind him. I, I still think he has gas left in the tank. I'm not saying that I'm ready to write him off. He's still going to be a very good back. But as far as what we expect out of Melvin Gordon moving forward, I would just go ahead and get rid of him at this point while his stock is extremely high at $9.86 a share. So those are three players to buy and three players to sell via Predictor Strike, the stock market for the NFL. You can sign up and start playing. If you click that link in the description, use the promo code T2F. If you deposit at least $20, you get a free share of a player.